In this video I'm going to talk about momentum and collisions. So the first thing I want to talk about is momentum and this is the quantity of motion of a moving body that's measured as a product of its mass and velocity. So if we have a mass of an object A being 10 kilograms and a velocity of object A being 6.8 meters per second then the, momen the momentum of object A is given by mass times velocity and we use the symbol P for momentum. Um, so in this case it's 10 times 6.8 equals 68 kilogram meters per second. Okay in terms of collisions when two objects collide the total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision. That's when we've got an absence of any external forces. And this is referred to as the law of conservation of momentum. Okay, so I'm going to go through a couple of examples now. So the first example, we've got block A comes in, bumps into block B that's stationary, and then they move off together. Okay, so they stick together and then they move off. So before the collision, in this example, the block A is 10 kilograms and its velocity is 6.8 meters per second. So multiplying those together we get the momentum of block A. Now block B uh, is a mass of 5 kilograms and a velocity of 0 meters per second. So that has a momentum of 0 kilogram meters per second. Now after the collision the two blocks have stuck together and they have a combined mass of 15 kilograms and they also have a momentum of 68 kilogram meters per second. Now I know this because the momentum before the collision is 68 plus zero, so that's 68 kilogram meters per second. And because momentum is conserved, then it must also be 68 kilogram meters per second after the collision. Now we know the momentum equation is mass times velocity. If we rearrange that, we can work out the velocity after the collision, and that's momentum divided by mass. So that's 68 divided by 15. So in this case, that gives 4.53 meters per second. Now, in this example, um, because the blocks stuck together, that's referred to as being perfectly inelastic for this type of collision. And it's the si this, in this situation, the, the maximum amount of kinetic energy is lost. So in this example, we've got two blocks again, but they're both in motion before the collision. And then again, they stick together and move off together after the collision. So beforehand, uh, block A has a mass of 10 kilograms, velocity of 6.8 meters per second. So we can work out the momentum of that block. Block B uh, is traveling at 3.8 meters per second and has a mass of 5 kilograms. So we can work out the momentum at, that is 19 kilogram meters per second. After the collision, the combined mass is 15 kilograms, the combined momentum, so that's the 68 plus the 19, gives 87 kilograms meters per second. And again, we can work out by rearranging the equation for momentum, we can work out that the velocity of the block is 5.8 meters per second. And again, this is a, an example of a perfectly inelastic collision because the two blocks stuck together, and again, because of this, the maximum amount of kinetic energy is, is lost in this situation. Now, in terms of thinking about the coefficient of restitution, this is a, a term that comes up, and it's the ratio of the speed of separation uh, and the speed of approach. So in this case, the speed of approach can be worked out by VA minus VB. So 6.8 for block A, take away the 3.8 meters per second for block B. So the speed of approach between those two blocks before the collision was three meters per second. Now the speed of separation, because they stuck together, is zero. And so we can work out the coefficient of restitution, zero divided by three equals zero. And that's always true for a perfectly inelastic collision. Okay, so that's been a video about momentum and collisions.